Hey everyone. How's your day going so far? I hope it's nothing short of amazing and that you're feeling your best. Welcome back to my channel, it's always a pleasure to have you here with me. Today, I have something truly fascinating to share with you that will make you question everything you thought you knew about the past and the advanced technology that existed within it. I stumbled upon some mind-blowing information from various sources, and trust me, you'll want to check out the description box for even more captivating topics. Now, I'll be honest, my video quality may not be the best, but I promise you the content is worth it. Some might call me repetitive for diving into this subject, but the truth is, it's important to acknowledge intentional narratives in our history. And hey, if you want to stay up to date on even more exclusive information, make sure to join my Telegram channel. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel too, just in case. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. Curators at the Manchester Museum have been left flabbergasted after CCTV footage has shown an ancient Egyptian statue has began moving around all on its own. The seemingly haunted statue rotates on its base in an anti-clockwise direction, as if looking around the museum's Egyptology department with its own spectral eyes. Artifact expert Campbell Price was the first one to notice the black statue had been moving around, but he initially assumed that another member of museum staff had been buggering about in the display case and simply nudged the effigy. It soon became apparent that the statue was moving regularly, either by someone's hand or perhaps supernatural influence. Campbell set up a CCTV camera to monitor the statue's display cabinet, and the unbelievable footage shows that the statue mysteriously moves all by itself. Some of the people I spoke to say that it probably moving from the vibration of the visitors, which is highly unlikely since this thing weights half a ton, and it always turns 180 degrees with its back facing. It's moving in a perfect circle. If it moved because of vibrations, then it should have moved at least a little out of place. So, the vibration theory definitely doesn't apply to this case. However, from all of my research, what I can tell you for sure is that the ancients believed that statues could store energy of the deceased, and they created these statues like the one in the museum to act as vessels for the soul of the deceased. They were considered substitute bodies for the souls, and they strongly believed this to be the case. Could this be the reason why the statue is moving? It's up to you to decide. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. The discovery of an archaeological puzzle in the small town of Shelbyville, Illinois, USA, has left scientists scratching their heads. With a history that dates back to just 1827, Shelbyville is a relatively new town, but what has left experts perplexed is how the city ended up buried four to five meters beneath the ground. Given that it was built not long ago, and that the town is situated far from the sea, it seems unlikely that flooding or natural disasters could have caused this mysterious phenomenon. One potential explanation could be linked to a nearby lake, which is located just a kilometer away from the city. However, for the lake to flood and submerge the entire town, it would require an incredible amount of water, equivalent to that of an entire sea. So, what could have caused Shelbyville to become a miniature Atlantis? Despite the confusion surrounding its subterranean existence, the excavated structure itself is a sight to behold. The arched openings, columns, and red brick construction are all reminiscent of a bygone era. Interestingly, what is most striking about the excavated cities is that the buildings seem to have been constructed using a template. This curious detail has left scientists wondering if there was a shared architectural style or design that spanned across multiple cities during this period. As experts continue to study the mysterious ruins of Shelbyville, one thing is for sure. This town's peculiar past has captured the attention of historians and archaeologists alike, making it an exciting area of research for years to come. 
With new discoveries and insights constantly emerging, it is likely that this puzzle will continue to captivate and intrigue for many years to come. The discovery of Athanasius Kircher's map of 1675 has sent shockwaves through the archaeological community, providing a stunning insight into the world as it was after the Great Flood. The map, titled A Geographical Map of the World After the Flood, provides a unique glimpse into the coastal lands that were submerged during this catastrophic event, and it is believed to be one of the oldest known maps of its kind. One of the most intriguing features of the map is the depiction of the Aral Sea and Caspian Sea as a single body of water. This observation aligns perfectly with the hypothesis that rising water levels during the flood would have caused these two bodies of water to merge. The map offers a fascinating glimpse into the world as it was in the aftermath of this monumental event, and the details contained within it have the potential to change our understanding of history as we know it. But the surprises don't end there. Off the coast of Florida, scuba divers have made an incredible discovery that provides further evidence of the people who inhabited the world after the flood. The evidence found in these underwater sites suggests that humans were living in these areas not so long ago. This discovery has sparked new questions about the history of human civilization and the impact that the flood had on Earth and its inhabitants. The combination of these two discoveries has sent shockwaves through the scientific community, prompting a flurry of research and analysis as experts try to piece together the puzzle of what happened in the aftermath of the Great Flood. The findings are challenging our understanding of history and are opening up new avenues of inquiry that may lead to even more groundbreaking discoveries in the future. The story of the Great Flood and its aftermath is one that continues to captivate and intrigue researchers, and it is clear that there is still much more to uncover. The Sphinx of Greenland is a mysterious and awe-inspiring structure that has confounded scientists for centuries and forced them to conclude that it is the result of natural forces and weathering. Some believe that it was crafted by a long-lost civilization that once thrived in the region, while others suggest that it may be the work of ancient aliens who visited Earth in the distant past. The sheer size and complexity of the Sphinx, coupled with its remote location, have made it one of the most enigmatic structures on Earth. Jiki's pyramid-carved basalts, on the other hand, are a testament to the incredible technological prowess of the ancient peoples who once inhabited Greenland. While mainstream narratives say these structures were crafted using only primitive tools and techniques, they exhibit a level of precision and craftsmanship that is still unparalleled today. The mystery surrounding their construction has led many to speculate that they were built using the help of supernatural beings or modern technology. Despite years of research and study, scientists are still at a loss to explain the origins of these remarkable structures, leaving us to wonder at the incredible power and skill of the ancient civilizations that once called Greenland home. What do you think? Now, it's time for me to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this video? If you found it valuable and informative, please show your support by liking and sharing it with your friends and family. Together, we can spread awareness and make a positive impact on the world. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable and have helped shed light on important topics that affect us all. Make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on our upcoming videos. Trust me, you won't want to miss what's coming next. Thank you for sticking around until the end. I hope the information shared here was useful and insightful for you. Until next time.